Okay, in this example, we're going to uh, consider some measurable quantities. And what we want to do is classify the number that we would use to uh, measure uh, each quantity uh, as either a natural number or an integer or a rational number or just a real number. Uh, but we want to want to choose one uh, category uh, for each quantity. All right, so let's start by uh, considering example A here, a student cell phone bill. So um, think about your own cell phone bill. When you get your cell phone bill, that's uh, typically um, an amount in dollars and cents. So if we use my cell phone bill uh, as an example, um, a typical uh, amount for that cell phone bill would be something like uh, $58.33. So notice that is a, um, a decimal quantity, and it's a terminating decimal. And so remember that terminating decimals, uh, these are rational numbers. So we would probably use a rational number uh, to measure um, a student cell phone bill. So the answer I'm going to give here is uh, rational. Now remember, rational numbers are also real numbers, uh, so we could also uh, uh, indicate that a real number is used to measure this quantity, but we want to choose the most, uh, the single most appropriate category. So I think that would be a rational number. All right, let me scroll up a little bit here. Uh, the number of chairs in a classroom. So how do we measure the number of chairs in a classroom? Well, typically we're going to count the number of chairs in a classroom. So we're going to use a counting number or a positive whole number um, to measure the number of chairs in a count uh, in a classroom. So that could be a number like one, two, or three, probably a larger number than one, two, or three. But nevertheless, it's going to be a positive whole number, a counting number. And so um, I would say that natural number is the most appropriate uh, number uh, for measuring the number of chairs uh, in a classroom. Remember, natural numbers or the, the counting numbers are the positive whole numbers. So for our next example, now this one's a little bit trickier. Um, because you may not be familiar with how golf is scored, but a, a golfer sc score against par. So um, when you see golfer scores reported, say, on TV, for instance, you might see a golfer score reported as plus three, so that means the golfer is three over par. Uh, but for the better golfers, uh, they might be under par, and their uh, scores are reported as negative quantities against uh, par. So say a typical golf score might be something like uh, minus five. Well, uh, both plus V and, and minus uh, five, these are examples of integers, right? Because remember, integers are the positive whole numbers along with zero, and then along with the negatives of the positive whole numbers. And minus five is an example of a negative of a, a positive whole number. And so I would say an integer is uh, the most appropriate number that we could use to measure a golfer's score against par. Now, um, the next example is a man's hat size. And um, if you're not a man or if you don't wear a hat, you may not know how hat sizes are measured. Um, but my hat size, for instance, I think, as I recall, is uh, 7 and 3 fourths. So hat sizes are measured often as mixed numbers, right, where you have uh, a whole number and then a fractional part. Uh, but that fractional part is what's important to us. Uh, remember, uh, numbers uh, that can uh, be expressed as fractions, uh, these are rational numbers. So 7 and 3 fourths is not a whole number, so it wouldn't be uh, considered an integer or a natural number. Uh, but it is a rational number, because that's a number that we can express as a uh, fraction. So I think a rational number might be the most appropriate um, number for measuring a man's hat size. Finally, for our last example, this one's a little bit longer. Suppose we want to calculate the slope between these two given points. All right, so you may have forgotten now how to calculate slope uh, between two given points, uh, but I think you've seen that before. Um, we're going to review this now shortly. Uh, at the end of chapter one and in chapter two. But just to give you a brief refresher, uh, if you have two points um, on the rectangular coordinate system, 
uh, let's just label these points symbolically as x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, then you can calculate the slope between these two points uh, by taking the difference in the y coordinates and dividing that by the difference in uh, the x coordinates. So if we think of this point on the left hand side as being um, our point x sub 1, y sub 1, and if we think of the point on the right hand side here, 2, 4, as being the point x sub 2, uh, y sub 2, uh, that we're going to plug into this slope formula, uh, then the slope between these two points uh, we would calculate as follows. So we would take the difference uh, in the two y coordinates, so that's going to be 4 minus a minus 4. This minus comes from the formula, and this minus comes from the fact that uh, y sub 1 is negative 4. And then we would divide that by the difference in our x coordinates. So that would be x sub 2 is 2 minus uh, x sub 1 is uh, minus 4. So again, this minus comes from the formula. This minus comes from the fact that x sub 1, uh, like x sub 2, uh, like uh, 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 y sub 1, was uh, minus 4. All right, so let's simplify this quotient. Uh, so 4 minus a minus 4, well, that double negative there is going to uh, simplify to uh, positive. So we have 4 plus 4 in the numerator. And then 2 minus a minus 4, that's going to simplify to 2 plus 4. So we end up there with 8 in the numerator and 6 in the denominator. And we can reduce that slightly to uh, 4 thirds. But nevertheless, now 4 thirds is a fraction, right? That's not a uh, whole number. Uh, so it's not going to be an integer or a natural number, but it is a number that's expressed as a fraction. So um, the most appropriate type of number for measuring the slope between these two given points, again, is a um, rational number. Remember, a rational number is any number that can be expressed as a fraction or a terminating decimal or a non-terminating decimal that um, repeats.